What's up everybody, my name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today we are reviewing Soma Spider. So what? And if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got channel membership and Patreon. Links to those are below. We are reviewing Soma Spider. So what? Episode 21. You know, I made some theories that in the upcoming episodes, we're going to see both battles, wars, in a different timelines, side by side, in the same episode. But I was proven wrong again. <laughs> this episode was focusing on the present time with Shun and his party, Hugo and his army, and I didn't hate it. I was, I was missing Kumoko. I was missing some spiders, but I didn't hate it because. It seems like it's building up to something big, some big revelations. Because uh, they've been focusing on the other reincarnates, like the two who are adventurers. They were giving them some spotlight in this episode. And then they kept talking about Kyoya and Kusama. And who pops up? Kusama. Shinobu Kusama, who is a shinobi. <laughs> they, so she didn't do like an appraisal on him and he's like huh you're a shinobi and your name was shinobu kusama <laughs> and everybody in the comics from the reaction was mentioning that and it's like okay that's funny now the question is was that administrator d or did shinobu want to be a shinobi you know, you know what I mean? And I'm kind of wondering, how did he develop that unique skill or title? I would like to know his journey on that. And the other thing is, I think it's a very big coincidence that, you know, he pops up after they talk about him. It's like, okay, is, is he really Kusama or is he someone else pretending to be Kusama. Is this going to be like another Kumoko where we thought she was the demon lord, but then she's not the demon lord. <laughs> but the demon lord was saying things, acting the way that Kumoko would. And you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I want her so much. <laughs> Ping pong, back and forth. Who is she? Who is she not? True, false, confirmed, not confirmed. <laughs> and I'm thinking that this is also building up to reveal who Kumoko is too because in the last episode at the end she's talking about how she's going to participate in the Sariella battle and she's going to gain a lot of experience from fighting the humans because fighting humans gives her a lot of experience and that should mean that she's going to evolve and we're going to see her new evolve form and I'm wondering that we're going to see it like actually see it in the present time 15 years later, during this battle between the elves, Hugo, and the church, and the demons that are working with Hugo and the church, I'm wondering if they're going to reveal who Kumoko is in that battle slash war, and then they're going to like fill in the blanks from the past. Because they've done that before, where in the present time, things are happening, and it's like, oh yeah something that's related to this from 50 years ago happened and this is what happened like this happened then now it's happening now and I'm wondering if they're doing that because we know what happened in the past we know what's going to happen we know something bad happened to Sariella we know something bad happened to Sophia we know that somehow the so somehow we know that somehow Sophia is going to end up with Ariel and Ariel's group is going to grow and somehow Administrator Gilly Gilly is going to work with Ariel and that's all going to come back 15 years later. There's going to be a connection going on. I just don't know how they're going to reveal this and that's what I like about this anime is that we know something's gonna happen we have an idea what it might be it's just how like we know what happened in the past but we don't know how it happened <laughs> another thing i want to talk about from episode 21 is 
Philomos and Hugo. Bruh, this was a fight waiting to happen. Like Hugo, he was anticipating this battle. Why? Because Philomos just stripped him of all of his skills. He was left helpless. And then Sophia and her group come in and it's like, hey, we can help you gain more power so you can fight her. And he is rearing, rearing to go and fight her. He's got lust and greed, lust to brainwash people, greed to steal people's skills so he can absorb it and get stronger. And wow, he's stronger than he was before. I mentioned this in the reaction and I'm wondering, did Philomos know that this was going to happen because she was so concerned about keeping her students alive and his name kept popping up saying that he would die in the elf forest like it never changed and I think that was getting to her and she was getting frustrated with it and it ends up with them fighting so I'm wondering okay did Philomos purposely strip his skills to make him angry so he could focus on her and she would fight him and she would control the battle and somehow detain him but not kill him. I'm wondering if that was her plan and she did not factor in that Hugo's pride, Hugo's anger was be so strong or attract Ariel and her group that he would gain so much power to destroy her. I, I'm just wondering if she did not factor that in. <laughs> I'm wondering if she was trying to make him powerless so he wouldn't fight in the battle in the elf forest or she did it on purpose so he could focus the anger on her. Anyways, I am heavily interested in how things are going to play out for the rest of the season with so few episodes left and they did mention about the gods aka the administrators so it's like okay they are talking about them how they are working behind the scenes feel most else they feel some kind of way about the gods some other people praise the gods and Philomos is saying that Ariel and the demons they're being backed by the gods aka the administrators and Philomos is calling them administrators. She doesn't like the administrators, but like, why would you not like them when they control this area, this world, this system? I mean, it's why you have your unique skill. It, <laughs> it, I'm just wondering, why do the elves not like the administrators? Like, what happened there? Was it because of Potamus? Did, is Potamus behind that? This is what I mean, how I'm interested in how everything's gonna play out because he's just throwing in all these info and it's like, you, do you have time to explain this stuff to us? If so, how is it gonna be explained to us? Is it gonna be what I'm theorizing it's gonna be where things are gonna be showed in the prison time and then they're gonna do flashes of 15 years ago to fill in the blanks and such because remember, when they showed the past, they showed Potamus, Dustin, of the followers of the word and Ariel, we got the big threes, you know? It's like they did something huge in the past and they're still alive and prominent in the present. So it's like, is this how they're going to explain and connect things? Because we got our reincarnates, we got the big three, and we got the administrators. Yo, how are things gonna play out? And that's my review of Soma Spider So What episode 21. I feel like it's more like an analyzation with questions, creating lots of questions in a review. What did you think about this video? What did you think about that episode? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to talk outside of YouTube, we got a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream to have that one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua and this is the Superfina channel reviewing Soma Spider So What episode 21. Hope you guys like this video and I will see you on the next one. Later! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here 
or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. Fist bump.